Thank you very much. The very hard working governor of Lagos State, Baba Jide Mawolu, the chairman of the governor's forum. The governor of Ogun. Hope of Imo, the governor of Bonu, the governor of Vikit, the governor of Kogi, Ojojo, and the rest of us and the deputy governor of Nasrawa. Thank you very much all of you given support to one of real a member of your club a subnational Clark, the chairman of the Governor's Bureau, you may want to extend this corridor to Kwara. The first governor, I came with me and body, and other members who had been here. I could see your hand, many of you. So the First Lady of Lagos State, thank you for the support. The Deputy Governor, thank you for the support. Mrs. Deputy Governor, Thank you, all of you. It is when the home is at peace and you can think and do the job. The Chief of Staff, the Honorable Minister for Transport, the Speaker of Lagos State, I will see you loud God bless you. Thank you very much. Our leader, our uncle, Prince Oluyole Olusu. Thank you. To the diplomatic members here, and chief of staff to the president, From our governors, I came with me and body, members of diplomatic hall again, or oh, captain of industry, one of our great leaders, Rasak Akane Okoya, is here present. Thank you for all you are doing for industrialization. government officials from the beginning of Lamata the transport community this is the dream realized thank you all very much the members of the media I could see one of their, our construction guru of ITEC here present. Thank all of you.
Not a good welcome home for me. Even though it's uh, very short, from this venue, I'm on my way to another national assignment. But still, and I enjoy being back. And I am happy I'm back. I'm happy that history of Lagos will remember all of us. I will be kind. I am very, very happy indeed that today is a day to remember and that infrastructural history of our country and particularly Lagos, my Lagos, the center of excellence. So there is an evidence that it's good to dream. And it's a serious validation of democracy by the people, for the people. When you put people at the central focus, of your vision and planning, you will realize the value of democracy. This is what we are here to do. Because 25 years ago, I was elected to lead Nigeria's most popular state, the smallest in La and Mass. Those were very different times when all that existed here was suppressed and aborted potential from the grim beginning. My team and I toiled day and night to craft and to implement a developmental vision that will transform Lagos into the economic powerhouse of Africa and a respected mega city on the global stage. We are realizing that dream. The distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to declare to you that the momentum of greatness we kick-started a quarter of a century ago has since become an unstop unstoppable force. It's not a crime to dream and dream big. Just stay focused and stay on course. Particularly make development the central focus. One of the ongoing transformation has been the transportation system focus on the people. This is one example of an agency out of bureaucracy that works. Well guided, well committed, a well designed blueprint. It has worked across four administrations. It's about the quality of leadership.
La matter has demonstrated that agency can be made to succeed and work for the people if invented and guided with a vision. and be committed to a larger value. From launching the bus rapid system to the ferry, massive upgrading of road network, La Mata, thank you very much. Well done. History of Lagos will be written with you in gold. I understand the digital payment system platform, single one, I can use for ferry service, use for rapid bus, The rail, but not for rice and beans. Today we are gathered for the inauguration of the second of the six rail lines planned as part of that in launching, that vision then. And I must thank our political leaders here present for believing in us, for lifting our spirit. We said we can do it. You believe in us. We said it will be focused on the people. You believed in us. We say the people's life will end up being better. You believed in us. I could hear a lot of noises right now. I live with it. I ask for this job. I cannot complain. It's all about democracy. <laughs> But this revolution that is started, these re reforms that is ongoing, we're not looking back. Because it's about people, the engineering, reconstruction, the affirmation of our pledge to be loyal to our country. That's one thing I know, definitely, is that there's a very bright light at the end of the tunnel. I agree, small glass will fight back. Corruption will fight back. But we will fight them to ruin. Corruption will go away. Save the money for you to educate our children, to pay for the health care system of our people, to pay for modern transportation system that works for highest number of people, not just few small glass and bootleggers. The fight is on. We'll be on it. We're not looking back. Thank God, Lamada as a public sector institution and Lagos State as a subnational government are both strong and constant. 
constant reminders that true change is possible. I speak to Nigerians through this podium that change is possible and change we must achieve. Progress we must achieve. In order about single individual, it's about the highest growing population in the world. Out of every five individual black colored people, is a Nigerian. We cannot afford to relax the budget population. We must plan and prepare for it. We must be committed to great value. And this economy, we will grow it, we will feed ourselves out of the penury, and we'll be happy that we did it. Taking a closer look at working on aviation, what is our problem? If we, if it is corruption, we must exterminate it. No matter how hard it is fighting back, no to corruption. We must adhere to our pledge. Patriotism, perseverance, consistency, and stayed focused. The National Transportation Minister is here. It is very critical for your ministry to collaborate further with subnational government. To help build in Nigeria for the greatest number of our people. Nigeria must and will be able to enjoy access to multiple alternative modes of transport, all of which are safe, efficient, and affordable. Let me again, again here commend the Lagos State Government under Mr. Governor Babaji Desanwolu for the giant strike. He was part of the vision from 20 years ago. I sent them around as their governor and their leader to other countries to so look at the system and they work hard. I am delighted that I, as we inaugurate the first phase of the red line, we cannot afford to rest on our own. There's much work still to be done at national and subnational level. And no room for complacency. I very much look forward to the completion of the terminal of the other phase. I could see massive economic opportunity coming out of this. Thank our partner.
the hope is here. We have a governor in hope. And I'm standing before you, clinging to that hope, assuring you, my belief, that Nigeria will be out of economic problems. We just need to persevere, work hard. Be assured. Allow me to throw a jab here. The labor union. You understand? <laughs> no matter how much we cling to our freedom and rights, to call for strike within nine months of an administration is unacceptable. If you want to participate, in the electoral process, wait on the 20-27. If not, maintain peace. You are not the only voice of Nigerians. At this point, it is my singular pleasure to inaugurate the first phase of Lagos Rail Mass Transit Red Line. To the glory of God Almighty, and for the benefit of the people, and watch the numbers going up. Today, I'm Seriously honored. That I am a Lagosian, happy, and the first to be president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria from this day.